It's our first at six, a story you'll only see on News 8. We have new information tonight on a pilot program for veterans with combat injuries. Yeah, we first brought you this story a few weeks ago. The funding and the resources are both in place, but there is one thing missing. Volunteers. News 8's Richard Essex joins us now with an update to that. Richard? Well, the program is accessing whether hyperbaric oxygen therapy, commonly called HBOT, will help mend a wounded soldier's brain. Indiana lawmakers have funded the program. Purdue University is running the program, but finding volunteers, well, that's proven to be a bit more difficult. Chuck Lee served with the 82nd Airborne through three conflicts. After nine years in the Army, he came back to Indiana in a lot of pain. At one time, he was confined to a wheelchair until a not-for-profit veterans organization offered him an alternative to traditional pain management, hyperbaric therapy. After several weeks of therapy, he was out of the wheelchair and many of his symptoms were gone. And I felt like I was uh, back in high school again. And as, as the treatment started going, uh, uh, the progressions of my symptoms started kind of dying down and diminishing. I mean, the inflammation to uh, the, the muscle tremors and the spasms to uh, even my uh, blood pressure, high cholesterol, uh, liver enzymes. I mean, it started changing the, the effects of what was happening to my body from over there. Each treatment in a hyperbaric chamber costs about a thousand bucks. Lee went through two months of treatment. As of right now, the Veterans Administration offers hyperbaric oxygen therapy to a very small group of veterans suffering from PTSD and traumatic brain injuries. The treatment is considered off-label and not widely supported. Arthur Trulip is administering the pilot program here in Indiana. He's an Air Force veteran and a graduate student at Purdue University. When the program was announced, they were looking for veterans with traumatic brain injuries only. Trulip says they have broadened the scope of the program to include both PTSD and traumatic brain injuries. And uh, we're trying to keep it as open as possible for people uh, because diagnoses can kind of vary, uh, you know, across the spectrum there a little bit. And sometimes things overlap and they don't get formal diagnosis. The state of Indiana is funding the pilot program to test the effectiveness of the treatment. Indiana is the first state to fully fund a pilot program like this. The program needs 15 qualified veterans. As of today, three have enrolled. Three veterans will start treatment right after the first of the year. The program is expected to take about a year to complete. If you are interested in participating in this program, we'll have all the details available on our website, wishtv.com. In the studio, Richard Essex, Wish TV News 8.